Let's zoom in into the architecture design stream. What does good look like for this stream? First of all, the developers and architects are given the tools and the resources they need to follow secure by design principles. They are getting the training and they are getting help in understanding things like threat modeling and working through that security design. As your organization grows in maturity, you will rely more and more on shared security services and common security libraries. And finally, and the ideal state is where you get to the point where reference security architectures are readily available to start from when you're initiating new projects. And of course, they are reviewed for their security quality. At the lowest level, in the architecture design. The question is, when you are doing design, are you applying security principles? So a basic secure by design checklist is available and teams are using it. And obviously they can get to it and understand how to apply it. And they are making good use of it. At level two, are we looking at using shared security services and or libraries in order to reduce duplication of effort, as well as allow us to focus some real energy on testing these reusable components. Let me break that down for you. Firstly, there is a list of security services that all stakeholders can get to and are aware of. Obviously, it is a good idea, a must, to review these shared services for their security quality. Finally, you need to provide guidance for designers to integrate these services in their solutions, which sort of includes secure configuration settings whenever they're integrating these shared services. At level three, this is where you have full-blown reference architectures available in a catalog. They are well understood. The dev and architect teams know where to look for them and how to use them. And of course, the reference architecture are being reviewed and kept up to date. Finally, the last quality criteria requires that the reference architectures materialize in a set of software libraries and tools upon which project teams build their software. An approach I've seen recently at an organization was a reference microservices architecture that was materialized in a full example project in Spring Framework. So every new microservice solution that was to be developed had to start from that, had to copy that, reference solution, and that already contained the common components and libraries pre-configured in their secure default state. 